Shalom. Uh, just want to continue with uh, preparation for the Torah portion. And um, I've been meditating on the idea of being clean. Um, last time we looked at eating clean, uh, eating clean and unclean food, things that are uh, defined as food, and other things are not, they're abominable or they bring uh, uncleanness onto us. We also looked at left and right. Our left is associated with everything that is not good. It's associated with the flesh, with the physical realm, with bondage. And moving towards the right has to do with Yahweh's righteousness and spiritual. And the growing up into a spiritual mature state. Now the holiness or the word Kodesh is basically what we know as a principle because Yahweh said be holy for I am holy and those words are repeated in the Burit Harasha as well so it's still applicable to us but we never make the connection to being clean uh, being associated with holiness Cleanly cleanliness well, has everything to do with entering the temple the holy place uh, the outer court and not being clean will cause you to defile the temple so the temple or the tabernacle is basically the body of Messiah so whatever we do as we enter into fellowship with fellow believers we should ensure that our lives are clean for the benefit of the body it's not for the benefit of your salvation it's nothing to, to, to do with works that cause you to be saved we're only saved by grace through faith in Yeshua HaMashiach and through the work his redemptive work and the currency of his blood that redeemed or paid for our lives the value of his blood had enough value in it to pay for all generations throughout all time frames within all cultures uh, for sins that has been committed and those who are still being uh, uh, that are still to be uh, committed in the future so it's nothing to do with redemption it's all everything to do with entering the holy place the temp temple or the tabernacle or the body of Mashiach and staying clean is what is most important um, eating clean is part of that living clean lives is part of that but then we have the issue our normal lives cause us to be unclean the normal cycles we go through <laughs> cause us to be unclean when you cut yourself and you bleed that's unclean when you have your cycle as a woman that cause you to be unclean if you uh, bring someone into life through uh, giving birth it cause the baby and the mother to be unclean um, a lot of things that we see naturally happening in our lives make us ritually unclean by default so our physical nature not only the nature but also the physical uh, existence is a unclean existence which is to be separated from Yahweh that's why we need to undergo cleansing cycles in order to enter into his presence and that's also the purpose of the korban that means to draw near which are the sacrificial uh, the fact sacrifices and the sacrificial system it's all to do with purification and cleansing now the cleansing of the soul the cleansing of sin has uh, is the deeper level associated with the sacrifices and then you have uh, and those are linked to fire um, and then the laver is associated with water which is more to do with the cleansing of the water of the word so whatever the word prescribe us um, to do that uh, cleanse us are basically the water we wash ourselves with and there's also instructions regarding things to avoid that will cause us to become unclean and that will by default make us unholy 
or not set apart unto Yahweh but set apart unto the world so we need to make sure that we are mindful we have it in front of our frontlets every day thinking about it what do I need to do to stay clean today what do I need to do um, to avoid making Yahweh's body profane or unclean especially in the assembly and fellowship with others so we need to live our lives in such a way so when people see us they can see that we live clean lives and we are set apart unto Yahweh and that's typically the light that shines into this dark world so all of those things associated with fire associated with light associated with purging uh, cleansing purification all of those things are transforming us and what we saw last time is that the cycles of seven are the transformation cycles which includes the sabbath the festivals as well as the foundation of fire it also links to the covenant through the root word of number seven which means oath and curse oath in the context of the covenant and curse in the context of those who are not part of the covenant which are those who are unclean so the curse will come upon those who choose to engage with everything that is unclean and those things need to be purged before the coming of a messiah um, with the new jerusalem and with the presence of the father coming down as well so everything will be purged by the foundation of the temple the new temple that's coming down and that is the fire that will come down and also the the meaning of fire one of the meanings is associated with foundation so the foundation is the foundation that purges that cleanses and we need to have a foundation of faith as well which is a foundation of holy living and clean living unto Yahweh so we can be established as a house on this earth as well so I just want to leave you with those thoughts I hope you have a lovely day and um, I'll speak to you soon Shalom